at the beginning of next week. And for our mountains, well, Glenn and Lou, this is the most important portion. We've got some snow showers on our way. And once again, the snow levels start at about 5,000 feet. So let's get going on the snow. Guys, back to you. All right, the annual Theodore Payne Foundation California Native Plant Garden Tour is back for the first time in two years. Can you say that twice? No. <laughs> KTLA's Gail Anderson gives us a grand garden preview from Sun Valley. <laughs> The Theodore Payne Foundation here in Sun Valley is your headquarters when it comes to native plants. Important because of this weekend's 2022 Native Plant Garden Tour. Evan Meyer, the executive director, no tour last year because of the virus, but you're back. Although you did have a virtual experience, but there's nothing like the in-person experience. The first time in two years that we're in person, and that's the way to experience a garden, to walk through it touch the plants, smell the plants, see the flowers. So we're so excited to be back in person this year. 34 gardens, east side, west side, two days. There's also an after party at State Historic Park. Uh, so it's just a, a weekend long celebration and it's kind of a choose your own adventure. So you, you get this beautiful guidebook and then you can pick the gardens that speak to you and that you're interested in. Now let's focus on one of the magnificent gardens in the book that you told us was magnificent didn't believe you, and then we saw it. The Diaz Ruiz Garden, which represents um, an east side tour, El Sereno, and not just an east side tour, but what you can do in a city and urban environment. Yeah, so they're, they uh, have packed tons of plants into their space. And the thing that really inspires me about this garden is the before and afters, because it started very basic, very drab, some lawns, not much going on. And if you go there, you'll see uh, how far they've taken this garden with tons of different diversity of plants. We transitioned into removing the lawn into a native garden. It was a whole slow process into building the garden itself. Uh, we've been going to the tour for several years in the past, and so this was, and uh, we always got inspired by it. So th since we had started incorporating a lot of natives into our yard, into our garden, we are finally at a point where we felt that they're mature enough where people can appreciate them and you know after once they've been established as to how they can look for us it's a, it's a it's also a labor of love so but you also want to share it with people so it's it's yeah mixed emotions you know but we we're really looking forward to having people come and visit but it starts like this with a small pot not a big uh, mature plant yeah, so a lot of uh, gardeners like to start with small plants because that gives time for the roots to grow and really acclimate to the space that they're in. So you come to the nursery, you see thousands of plants around. They all kind of are small and you're kind of scratching your head about what it's going to look like. Come to the garden tour and you'll see these things when they've had time to mature. Metropolis in metamorphosis. Now Sereno, Gail Anderson, KTLA 5 News.